Hello, I'm Cara, and today I'm going to show you how to make a cheddar and tasso frittata. Now, a frittata is like an Italian omelet using eggs and other ingredients. But unlike a traditional omelet, it's cooked on both sides. Now, the easiest and fastest way to make one of these is to use a pan specially designed for making frittatas. Today, we're going to be using this Calphalon frittata pan. It's basically two pans that connect with these interlocking handles. Using the bottom pan, I'm going to start by sauteing some green onions and Italian parsley. Let's add a couple tablespoons of butter right now. Toss in some parsley and some green onions. These will take just a few minutes to saute. In the meantime, let's get started on our egg mixture. I've got a dozen eggs. I have a half cup of cream I'm going to add in, a cup of cheddar, and a cup of tasso. And tasso is a really delicious Cajun spiced pork. Very, very flavorful. We're going to add a pinch of cracked black pepper and a pinch of salt. And just give that a good whisk. Our green onions are sauteing up beautifully. And my green onions and parsley have cooled, so let's add them to the eggs. You never want to add hot ingredients to eggs so as to not cook them prematurely. Give that a good stir. Now using the same bottom half of our frittata pan, we're going to add another couple tablespoons of butter and then we'll add our egg mixture. The great thing about this Calphalon frittata pan is that it's basically two pans in one. This deep lower half is really nice for sauteing or frying, and the top, more shallow half is excellent for making crepes. Butter has melted. In goes the egg mixture. This will cook for about seven to 10 minutes on a pretty low heat. And we're just gonna, every now and then, go around the edges of the frittata and lift them up so we can allow the uncooked eggs to slide underneath. My frittata's been cooking for about 10 minutes, but before we flip it, we're gonna melt about a half tablespoon of butter into the lid of the frittata pan. All right, now this is the best part. Using these interlocking handles, I'm gonna put the lid right on top and using kitchen mitt, flip it over. That simple. We're gonna cook it with the lid on for about three minutes and then remove the lid and cook it for another five and then it's ready to serve. Nicely browned. It's now gonna cook for about five minutes longer with the lid off. Now it's time to slide our frittata onto the serving plate. And you can invert this if you like, but using these nonstick pans, it makes it really easy just to slide on out. And a nice little garnish of parsley. And there you have a delicious frittata made with our Calphalon frittata pan.